Hello and welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald and today we're going to show you how to make a large oval arrangement. So this is maybe the type of arrangement you might want to use for a funeral item or it could be for a very big table display or for a sideboard table but essentially it's going to be like a casket spray. So what I've got here is I've got a double brick tray and we've got two blocks of oasis that I've put in there and these have been soaked. So we're just going to tape this up. Now you can get different bases that you can use. I just prefer to use the actual trays because then it's flexible, it's, val it's good value um, and there's no reason for putting your own oasis in. But you can use a casket spray if you prefer. What we're going to do first is we're going to use our foliage to create a base for our flowers. So I'm just using this wide tape is really really good because um, it gives you lots of stability. So what I've done is I've gone around each block and then I've gone the length as well. So we've got that really secured in there very well. So the first foliage that we're going to use is this lovely ruscus and this is the French ruscus. And we're going to use this really just to define our shape. So, really we want this to be quite a symmetrical style arrangement. So straight away we've defined the length and also the dimension going across. And then we can really work in a methodical way with this type of item. So we can do the diagonals. The great thing with the Ruscus is it's got lovely movement and a really nice shape. And then we can look at just coming a little bit higher. And working. So really we're all radiating out from the centre is what we're wanting to achieve. Now I'm lucky, I'm quite tall so I can work both sides, but if you find easier to concentrate on one side and then move, maybe move it round, that's also a good way to work. And these bits that we've taken the tips off we can still use. We can bring them in lower down just to add volume. So we really want this one to be quite full and special. I've also got some Aspidistra and the great thing about the Aspidistra is it's giving us a contrast. The French Ruscus is really fine and lots of small leaves. This is just going to create that difference for us. And we can even make some into some loops. I want everything to be quite secure in the foam. So we're cutting things on an angle and just making sure that they go in nice and firmly and securely. So again, I've worked that outer edge is the best way to, to do it. And then we can come in, do a few loops for the centre with some of the bigger leaves. So if you've got ones that are really kind of long, that's perfect for making a loop. But we can also do some that sit up a little bit as well. So this is giving us some depth and some change. So foliage generally, you need to see what you've got. I just so happen that I've got a lot of Aspidistra leaves, so I want to use them up. So we can make a feature of that. But again, to create contrast, I've got some beautiful eucalyptus. So again, we're getting this contrast in texture, but also the contrast in the colour. And 
with the ellipses, you can split this down into appropriate pieces. So you can look like this is a very nice piece. So I don't need to do anything with it. This has got a nice shape for going the length out the way. So you're looking to see how best to use the material that you have. Whereas this one, I'm probably going to split down into little units and bring that in. Okay, so we've really got our base built. And what I want to use here is I want to use a little bit of this painted birch. So this is going to give me a little bit of support for the materials that we're putting in. So I'm going to use some secateurs for this. I don't want this to be a, a strong feature. I really want to put it in and have it to give me a bit of a structure to the flowers that we're going to use. So our main flower is going to be some beautiful white orchids, some Vivian orchids. And that in, in themselves they're quite heavy. So having this within the actual foliage will give us a little bit of a, a structure to rest our orchids on. Again, it's giving a little contrast to the foliage and um, it's a little bit seasonal as well. So there's our So our main flower are going to be these beautiful orchids, and these are the Cymbidium orchids. And as I say, with the stems, they're quite heavy. So this is why we've added these, to really create a little bit of strength for adding these in. Now it's quite a big fleshy stem, and I want that to really make sure that it's getting a little bit of support. So we'll start either end. I'm cutting these on an angle. The great thing about doing that is you would do that normally, but it helps the stems to not swivel in the foam. Now I'm looking at this stem here and I'm going to split it in two. So we've got a natural piece there and this that we can make into two units. And the same with these stems, because when you really see the stem, it is quite heavy. So I'm looking for a place where I can split it that gives me a bit of a stem to work with there.
I'm just working these through. So again, what we're wanting is for everything to emanate out from the middle. I'm looking to have some longer, some shorter, and bring some of this volume into the middle. So we've got the main body of our arrangement made. Let's turn this right. As I say, you can move it around just to get at where, you're, where you want to place things. And to finish, I'm going to add some roses. So again, this is going to give us a little bit of a contrast to our orchids. So we don't want it to be just orchids. We're going to have some beautiful roses. And I'm really wanting to work these in a line through our design. beautiful Lysianthus as well. So this is the Eustoma, and this is just a single one. But again, this is going to add a little bit of contrast to those big heavy flowers. So we're really creating something that's very feminine and simple, but special as well. So again, the Ustoma has a really nice shape that we can work with. I've got some beautiful asparagus fern, and this is the Merion, right? And we're just going to put this in again just to create a little bit of a contrast and a little bit of a change in texture. And that's it. It's as simple as that. We've got a large spray arrangement featuring Cymbidium orchids, the beautiful white roses, we've got white Lysianthus or Eustoma, and finished off with select foliage. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and please click here to subscribe to see all our up-to-date videos. Thank you.